Again, welcome back. Mike Allen here. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different things. One, uh, this is going to be single number reach. Now, what I've done already is I've already pre-configured my single number reach user, Pam Beasley here, with a remote destination of my cell phone. Now, a little unique than most demo situations, I actually have a line plugged into my demo kit today to allow me to do that. Now, one thing to consider is that when I use an analog line for this, um, you know, you got to remember it's on a one-to-one -one ratio, right? So if it's an outside caller that's calling in, and then it's ringing to my phone, it's going to need another line to make an outbound call. So for that original call coming in, I'm actually using two lines, one line in and one line out to get that call on my cell phone. The other thing about plain old telephone service or analog lines is that I'm also not going to get the originating caller's caller ID. Now, depending upon your SIP trunk provider, that functionality might be available, or depending upon your primary rate interface or PRI provider, you might be able be even able to transfer the originating caller's caller ID to your cell phone. So just a couple of things to think about. Now, what's new with single number reach this time, in CCA 3.0, we're actually allowed to not only edit the users, but we can set up a different delay before ringing, right? So let's say I want to give my desk phone the chance to be able to answer the call, and then let's say five seconds later, I want to start ringing my cellular telephone. Now, I'm going to show just five seconds for this demo just because it's quick and it's easy, makes things uh, uh, faster for a demo. But I've also got one more parameter that I can choose. I can choose to call forward to a voicemail on the system or my extension 202's voice mailbox here instead of going to my cellular phone's voicemail. Now, the reason I would do that, right, think about... Uh, you know, how all of these message mediums are coming together and what we're trying to accomplish here, I want to make it more easy for my users to be more proficient or efficient and only have one voicemail box, right? So now, let's say I call AT&T or my, or my cellular telephone provider. I call them up. I say, hey, extend my ringers out, you know, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever the case may be, just shorter than my call forward to voicemail delay timer that I've got set up through CCA 3.0. So let's see how it works. The first thing I'm going to do is from another phone here, I'm going to dial extension 202. You'll notice that that's ringing on the, on the desk phone. A couple of seconds later, five to be exact, right? Ringing on my cell phone. I'm going to answer the call. Put it on mute, and I'll put it on mute here too. Now you'll notice that I do have the second call right here on my cell phone. It's originated from the system, and I also have the call still available, standard features, still the same as uh, prior versions of CCA, still the standard features. So if I want to be able to walk back to my desk, I've got the call on my cell phone. I want to walk back to my desk and take the call back. I literally only have to hit resume. Whoops, wrong way with the zoom there. I literally only have to hit resume in the display. Test, 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 test. And now I've got that call back. Cell phone automatically hangs up. And away we go. So this was single number reach. And demonstrating in single number reach the availability to have a delay before dialing the remote destination parameter. And we also have another one, call forward to voicemail delay. Two new things from CCA 3.0. Thanks for watching.